most residents in the hill suburbs of Kelmscott and Rolleystone in Perth have begun returning to their properties after one of the worst bushfires in WA history. The blaze blackened more than 400 hectares, destroyed 72 homes and damaged dozens more. The cause of the blaze hasn't been determined, but an off-duty police officer is being investigated for allegedly using an angle grinder despite the fire ban. And there are now concerns for the man's welfare, as police haven't been able to contact him through the day. Jane Norman reports. It's been a tense two days for residents waiting to return to their properties to find out what the fire left behind. For Vanessa Mekasic and her husband Phil, there wasn't much. Everything. Yep, everything except for five um, small photo albums. We didn't get all of them. She's coming to terms with her loss by looking ahead. We will sort everything out. Um, water the garden. At least that hasn't died. Paul Bosveld and his wife also returned to their Clifton Hills home to find a lifetime of memories reduced to ashes. I am that I'm just tra going to travel a bit lighter through life from now on. Unbelievably, their next door neighbour's home was barely charred. There's houses that probably should have burnt, like ours, that's so old and wooden that didn't. Houses that should have been safe that just went, so there's just no, there's no pattern to it. Home after home, street after street, the extent of the destruction has become clearer. The wind was so strong on Sunday, fire crews say the flames just took off up the hill, destroying everything in its path. And homes like this one didn't stand a chance. It's one of at least 70 burnt to the ground. 32 more were damaged. Some residents were kept on edge when roadblocks prevented them from getting in. They've come out and said there's no damage there. We should be allowed back in. And there's prolonged anxiety for others who are still camped at evacuation centres. And only through word of mouth we've heard that our houses are still standing but we don't know if there's damage. Uh, it's very frustrating and uh, we'd like to have definitive information. With the fire all but extinguished, the focus has turned to WA's bushfire warning system. Some residents say they'd already abandoned their homes by the time they received an SMS alert from FISA. I wasn't waiting for one, but I got one about four hours after, we'd, evacu yeah, after oh, we'd evacuated. There was no warning for us at all. No. Authorities say a total fire ban was in place and warnings were issued the day before. And what we had was a fire that started in swirling uh, strong gusty winds um, in, a, in an area where there's high vegetation and that fire started near homes. Um, it moves very quickly. Um, uh, people have a responsibility to uh, stay aware of what's happening. The cause of the blaze hasn't been determined, but an off-duty police officer is being investigated for allegedly using an angle grinder on his Rolly Stone property despite the fire ban. But there are now concerns for the man's welfare. Police say he hasn't been seen since Monday. Jane Norman, Late Line.